In this demonstration, we are going to use Veeam Fast SCP for Microsoft Azure to upload backups to Veeam Direct Restore for Microsoft Azure, which we deployed before in another demonstration. We start from the beginning, so our newly deployed virtual machine isn't added yet into the solution. Press Add Machine and the wizard will open. In this window, you will need to add the host name, which could be either an IP address or the fully qualified domain name. You also need to add the port that you're going to use to connect to the virtual machine. You can verify and view that port in the configuration for the specific virtual machine. Then you need to decide whether or not you're going to use SSL, although I would advise this strongly, and what security checks will be performed. Last but not least, you fill in the username and password for that virtual machine and press OK. Now that we have a connection to that virtual machine, we can start by uploading data to the Veeam Direct Restore to Microsoft Azure feature. In our example during the demonstrations, I'm uploading a backup of my Windows 10 machine that I want to keep running in the cloud because I have no more laptop left on premises to run it on. This is a backup taken by Veeam Endpoint Backup, but it could also be a backup taken by Veeam Backup and Replication or Veeam Backup Free Edition. On the C drive of that virtual machine, I'm going to create a new folder. Note that you can choose this location yourself. Press Create Folder in the ribbon and give it a name. Right click on the empty folder and choose Upload Files or an entire folder or choose it from the ribbon menu. I select my specific backup files and press Open. If I go now and select Jobs, you will see that those files are being uploaded to the virtual machine. After some time, the upload is finished and you will be able to use those backups to do a direct restore to Microsoft Azure. In this demonstration video, we showed you how you can use a solution such as Veeam Fast DCP for Microsoft Azure to upload your backup files to the Veeam Direct Restore to Microsoft Azure feature. In the next demonstration, we will show you how you can do the restore. That demonstration and many more can be found at veeam.com.